everyone, Saeedu here. Welcome to another CCNA server of lab. This lab is all about attacking MySQL database. However, the limitation of this lab is that I already have the pickup file from a previous attack against MySQL or SQL database, which I will be exploring using Wireshark. But first, what is this SQL injection attack? So basically, this kind of attack allows malicious hackers to type SQL statement in a website and receive a response from the database, which allows attackers to tamper with the current data in the database, spoof identities, and other miscellaneous mischief. Like I said previously, a pickup file has already been created from a previous attack against MySQL database. So in this lab, I will view the SQL database attacks. The required resources is obviously cyber ops workstation virtual machine and an internet access. The first thing to do is to open a Wireshark and load the pickup file. So now I'll go to uh, open up my Wireshark from I'll first click on the application cyber op then Wireshark to launch my Wireshark window. Now I'll click on open new file open then browse through the home analyst directory and search for lab.support.files. So in that directory, I'll now I'll open it and select the SQL underscore lab.pickup file. Now double clicking this, this is what I get. I get a bunch of captured files here on my Wireshark. So obviously this uh, attack or this communication is basically between a client and a server. So the client here is the 10.0.2.4. This is a device that is making the request. And then the server is 10.0.2.15, which is the uh, server replying the client. So to view this SQL injection attack, I simply go to line 13 here from my Wireshark window and then right click on it and click on follow HTTP stream. So this will open up this window, which have which is having two sections. So the first section, which is the, the one in red color, so this is the source traffic, and then the one in blue color is the destination device responding back to the source. So from here, the source has sent a GET request to the server, and the server now is replying back to the source. Now from this window, I'll click Find and enter one equal to one, and then click the Find button here to search for this entry so after locating this entry i will simply cancel the dialog box there now obviously what uh, we are having here simply means that the attacker has entered a query one equal to one into the user id search box on the target 10.0.2.15 to see if the application is vulnerable to sql injection now this is a caveat instead of the application failure message it's responded with a record from a database. So now the attacker has verified that uh, they can impute an SQL command and the database will respond instead of responding with the error message. Now the purpose of the one equal to one string there, it creates an SQL statement that will be always true. So in, in the example, it does not matter what is the what is entered into the field, it will always be true. And then for now, I'll close this uh, HTTP stream window, then click on declare to display the entire Wireshark conversation from the main window here. Let's view the continuation of, of the attack. Now within the Wireshark capture, I'll right click the line 19 and select the follow HTTP stream. So just like with the previous window, we, we have now two sections. The red section and the blue section. Now, from this window, I'll just simply click the blue section. Now, from this window, I'll just simply click find and enter one equal to one. Now, after finding this, I'll just click cancel in the find text search box there. Now, this is the entry. So, now what this means is that the attacker has entered a query one equal to one union select database there. So again, instead of the application to respond with a login failure message, it responded with the following information. Now, these are the information that the server respond with, which is quite a lot of information to give out. Now, from this information, we can even see the database name, which is DVWA, and the database user is DVWA at lo localhost. Now, if you check 
carefully you find out that there are also multiple user accounts being displayed now i'll close this uh, http stream window and click clear to display the entire wire, display the entire wireshark conversation now after getting those information that we just saw the attacker continues and start targeting more specific information so now within the wireshark capture i'll right click line 22 and select follow http stream in the red the source traffic is shown and is sending the get request to host 10.0.2.15 which is supposed to be the server in blue the destination device is responding back to the source just like the way we saw previously so i will do the same thing here and click find from this window and type in one equal to one search for this entry when the test is located i will just click cancel all right the attacker here has entered a query one code or one equal to one union select null comma version then braces then hash so the attacker has entered this information into a user id search box on the target 10.0.2.15 to locate the version identifier so if you notice there you see that the version identifier is at the end of the output right before the closing html code so the version here is version 5.7.12 now close this http stream then click, click clear to display the entire wireshark conversation so the sql injection attack and table information so the attacker knows that there, there is a large number of sql tables that are full of information so the attacker attempt to find them so within the wireshark uh, capture i'll right click on the 20 line 25 and select follow http stream followed following the same procedure I'll click on find and enter users in the search box there and click find there so after this entry has been located i will simply cancel this so what this information says that is is showing us that the attacker has entered a query one single quote or one equal to one union select null comma table underscore name name from information underscore schema dot tables so this is what the attacker has entered into the user id search box on the target so this allowed the attacker to view all the tables in the database which provide a huge output of many tables so as the attacker specify null without any further specification so we have a lot of information here now let's follow the last one here so the attacker ends with the best price of all which is the password which is the password hashes so within the wireshark capture now all right click line 28 and select follow http stream so the source is shown in the red just like the way we saw it before now quickly from here i'll just click the find button click find and type in one equal to one search for this entry and then cancel after the entry has been located now from here we can see that the attacker has entered a query one single quote or one equal to one union select user comma password from users into a user id search search box on the target which is 10.0.2.15 to pull usernames and password hashes so as you can see from here this is quite some information we have a lot of information here so the one that i will be using now here it's this hash d533d and all that now for this particular hash the user is user 1337 and then the hash after obtaining the hash we can we can simply check for the plain text password so using using the site or using a website such as the crackstation.net so I'll just simply copy the, the hash there, the password hash there, then paste it into the cracker and get cracking. So I will simply visit this site, crackstation.net from my web browser here, and then paste that password hash into this text box. So and click this. So the plain text password is Charlie. So now let me close the follow HTTP stream window. What is the reflection? So after seeing this somebody might even say that okay if sql is this vulnerable there's no need of using sql of using 
SQL or something like that. What is the risk of having platforms use the SQL language? So websites are commonly database driven and use the SQL language. So the security of a SQL injection attack is up to the attacker. Now, there are numerous ways of preventing these SQL injection attacks. Some of them are by doing the following, like filter user input, deploy a web application firewall. The admin should disable unnecessary database features or capabilities. The admin should monitor the SQL statement, then use parameters with dynamic SQL. So that is how to follow and read a captured file using Wireshark, how to view or read or follow the HTTP stream of a Pika file from a previous attack, attack against SQL database. So I hope you learned something from this and I will see you in the next one.